I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me mm -hmm. But you showed me how to believe Still gets me When I look back I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in And I'll never understand how you saw it coming Oh, bye I think the dark mornings have definitely arrived although it is absolutely pouring today so that won't help have you seen the storms actually that they're having in scotland i was looking at the news this morning look at these photos so i'm wondering whether we're maybe getting the tail end of that or something because it is so dark and gloomy and rainy today and pretty much the perfect day to have a cozy day at home which is exactly what we're going to do today it's been a bit of a funny week this week i think just with everything that's going on in the world and i think as humans we have this kind of inbuilt empathy which can mean that it can feel really really heavy um, when things like this happen across the world and also on a personal note it's just been a bit of a funny week in this household this week um, not necessarily anything bad just a lot of change and a lot to think about at the moment a lot of things that will kind of become clear in the coming months but yeah it's been definitely a bit of a slower week this week and I'm just trying to remind myself that we're all human and with all of that being said I feel like there has never been a better time to just have a really relaxing peaceful cozy day at home but that's one thing that I really love about the autumn winter seasons I feel like the weather really gives you permission to spend more time at home and enjoy spending time in your home and light candles and read books and watch movies and all of that kind of thing I've actually got the two dogs here with me this morning we've got Poppy who's my family dog staying with us my parents are actually coming to pick her up this afternoon I think we're going to have a bit of lunch which is what I'm about to go and do now I'm going to go and get myself ready and then head into just the local town to us here um, and just pick up some bits for hello baby for everyone for lunch and then also I'm going to have a bit of a browse in the bookshops I finished the glass house I spoke lots about the glass house in last week's video so I won't say too much other than to say I have now finished it and I would definitely still recommend I really really enjoyed it and like I said last week it's kind of set in a forest and it's a bit of a mystery so I feel like it's a really great kind of October read um i've been really enjoying reading books that are kind of set in england but back in time the book i just read was only in the 1970s but the book before that was like the 1700s and before that was the 1600s or something and i just really enjoy learning about how people lived at different times in history um, so I'm going to look for something similar. There is nothing that I love more when it's kind of dark and rainy and gloomy outside than spending some time in a bookshop. They always just have the nicest feel to them. Um, I feel like I could spend hours in somewhere like Waterstones. That is the plan for right now. So I'm going to go and get myself dressed and let's have a really lovely cozy day at home. some of this um, broccoli one and then what is that one I think I'm good I think that's everything thank you that's okay no problem we're good perfect thank you very much thank you bye bye
one of my favourite books I've ever read. Another really incredible book. These puzzles are so cosy, like imagine cozying up doing this doll's house. This is probably my favourite one, or this one of the bookshop. Hello girls! Hello! Does that sound nice? Hello! Good girls, that's my good. I've just walked through the door and look at what arrived while I was out. Kenny took delivery of our two new sofas. I've got real my lap. Hello. Oh, you're too tiny. Hello. Hello, my darling. Did you miss me? I was gone for all of about half an hour, but that feels like a lifetime, doesn't it, really? Anyway, I thought I'd quickly show you what I got while I was out and the book that I chose. Let me put you back up. Hello, big girl. Do you want to come up too? Come on then. Come on then, up you come. So I mostly just got food. I got this big salad for myself. This is just from a little local kind of vegetarian deli sort of thing. Um, so it's just a mix of all different types of salad. They're mostly kind of bean salads. Got broccoli salad in there. I can see figs and it just looks really good. And then I just popped into Girls and got my parents a few of their favourite bits in case they're hungry when they arrive. I'll show you what I got for them when I get it all out later. If you saw last week's video, I picked up one of these for the first time to try. We had it last night. It was delicious. Like so, so good. It's very kind of fennel -y and it is a little bit spicy. So if they're not your thing, you might not like it. But for me, well, I went the next day and picked up another one because this is going to firmly be a cupboard staple from now on for any days where you just need really quick dinner. Um, but anyway, I've had a really good browse on Waterstones today. I feel like Waterstones just has the nicest, most cosy, comforting kind of atmosphere. But I didn't actually pick this up from Waterstones. I got this from Oxfam Books. I get most of my books from charity shops because I feel like it's just a more sustainable way of reading books because I'm not a Kindle kind of girl. I went for this one. It's the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, which is one that I've wanted to read for a really long time. The opening page in this book is like a little snippet from the book itself. And it says, I wonder how the book got to Guernsey. Perhaps there is some sort of secret homing instinct in books that brings them to their perfect readers. I've just heard so many good things about this book. I feel like it's going to be a really feel good, comforting read. So I'm excited to read that. Anyway, I'm going to quickly have a couple of mouthfuls of this salad and then I'm going to pop out with the dogs. Um, and then my parents will probably be here, I'll have some food with them. And then when Kenny gets home, we will unbox the new sofas, which I'm so excited for. Right girls, come on, come on pops. Good girl. Good girl, Rui. That's very brave. Rui normally hides underneath the sofa when we're going for a walk. I don't know why, because she absolutely loves it when we're there. Good girl, Rui. Good girl. Come on then. Right, are you ready? Are we going to go for a nice walk? I just need to put my shoes on now. Is it a wellies kind of day? Honestly, I can't tell you how much wear I've had out of this coat. I honestly wear it every single day. It was um, such a good buy. It's such a warm coat and it keeps me completely dry, which is very important if you live in England. Is growling at this tree stump there. What's that? Is that scary? What is it? Is that a bit scary, Rue? That's so brave facing your fears like that. Come on then. Come on then. We've just had to turn around on our walk because a man stopped us to tell us that if we carried on, the water got up to waist height. So obviously we've turned around, but that's how bad the storms have been here. I've just picked up my parents.
just from the airport and I'm just plating up some food and making cups of tea all round. So I actually forgot that I got myself one of these little tahini bites. They're plant-based and they are so delicious. You know, sometimes when you just want a cup of tea and like, like a little bit of something sweet, I cannot recommend these enough. They're so chocolatey and so yummy. So I got that for me. And then for my parents, I got them this vegetarian quiche because I know this is one that they really like. And their favorite cake, which is like a pecan cinnamon crumble cake or something. It looks like this, it does look really, really good. So I'm just gonna plate all of that up. Um, oh, and then I just plated up some salads for them. So this is like a three bean salad. And this one is a green salad. I just picked them up quickly from M&S. So like I said, I'm gonna make cups of tea all around. Gonna finish my salad off from earlier have my little chocolate tahini bite, catch up with my parents for a bit and see how their trip was. My parents have decided to stay for dinner and I have something in mind. I've been really wanting to try and make a homemade mushroom and leek pie. And I thought, although a little bit brave to try a new recipe when I'm feeding four people, I thought it was a good excuse to put the oven on and attempt to bake this pie. So I actually need to get a pie dish because we only have a really small one. So I'm going to head over to John Lewis. While I'm there, I'm also going to get us a radio because my dad borrowed my car the other day and he tuned the radio to Times Radio or something. And since then, every time I've got into the car, the radio has been playing and I've actually really enjoyed it. I've been really enjoying listening to the radio, keeping up to date with what's going on, obviously around the world, especially at the moment. And so I thought for the first time in my life that I actually might enjoy having my own radio on in the kitchen just so I can potter around. I think it's very nostalgic as well because growing up, the radio was always, always on in our house. It still is. I think my parents' morning alarm is even maybe the radio, BBC Radio 4 or something. And I remember when my mum used to do the prep for dinner and the arches would be on in the background and it might also be nice to pop it on in the morning, get the kind of news updates and all of that sort of stuff. I'm gonna go and get Rue and let's head to John Lewis. stormy outside when i was driving home half the roads were flooded but leaves flying off all the trees because there are such high winds so it is definitely a perfect evening to just kind of hunker down have a fire read a good book i think i might rent pride and prejudice and watch that tonight because i have never seen it the one with Kira knightley anyway i thought i would quickly show you what i got from john lewis it's a bit of a mixed success at John Lewis. Firstly, the main reason I went obviously was to get this pie dish, but they didn't really have any colours that 
I liked. They only had the bright orange um, pie dishes and although they are perfect for Halloween, I'm still really conscious of this new thing I'm trying to do, which is really only buying pieces that I can see myself still having in years and years to come. So I thought probably a bright orange pie dish wasn't the most versatile. So I didn't get a pie dish, but we do have one in the cupboard somewhere up there that I think will do. It's a little bit on the small side, but there are only four of us. And when I think about it in terms of we'd get a quarter each roughly, that should be okay. Um, but I did get a radio, so that was a success. Although I did get the one I thought I was gonna go for, just in terms of the size. So I went for one of these Roberts radios because I just thought in the end, they're like a classic, aren't they? Again, feel like they're timeless. And I went for this cream color because I thought it goes well with this kitchen and it should go well with kind of any kitchen that we have in the future. I've not actually seen it out of the box. So let's, let's have a look. I think it does all the things. I think it's got Bluetooth and it's got internet connectivity and stuff like that. I don't know what you need the internet for really, but. But mostly I just thought it was very pretty and I thought it would go nicely. I really love the sort of brown um, cream contrast. I think these are actually a little bit hard to get hold of at the moment. When I looked online, there weren't many in stock. And in store, this was the last one. But if I can find links to this, I will link it in the description, this exact one, because there's loads of different models and it's all a bit of a minefield, isn't it? But the speakers in these are meant to be really good as well. Um, and obviously because you can connect to Bluetooth, that's quite handy. Um, and then I just got a couple of other bits. Of course, they're really related. So I got her two new dog bowls um, because her old ones are really chipped around the edges. But I thought these ones are really lovely and they're the perfect size for Rue. They're probably cat bowls. Poor Rue always ends up with cat bowls because the dog bowls are always just way too big. So anyway, dog bowls, maybe even less exciting unless you're a dog mum when all of this is very exciting. But I got her a new little bag holder to put on her lead. This is like a little barber one but the thing that I actually really liked about this is that it's tiny and sometimes they're just unnecessarily big and bulky so that's all I got I'm very excited about my radio I need to find somewhere to put it I think I'm going to put it on this kind of like pantry wall which is what I'm facing right now looking at the lighting I think it might be getting dark already so I'm going to go and change into some comfies and then we better start prepping dinner <laughs> I 
I've just had the most gorgeous little gift dropped off at my front door. Um, the lovely Annie Openshaw, who some of you may know because she does kind of all things fitness, well-being, gut health, that sort of thing online. Well, she has her own candle company and she very kindly wanted to send me some of her candles and her family live quite locally to us. So she asked if it'd be okay if her mum dropped the candles round, which of course, and her lovely, lovely mum just dropped them round. I honestly felt terrible because the weather is so bad outside, but that little five minute interaction on my doorstep made my day. Um, and now I've got some gorgeous candles. So I just thought we'd open them and have a little look at what we've got. So she's very kindly sent me four. Oh my gosh, I can smell this one from here. And it's called Sugar Cookie. These are organic candles. And this smells like, honestly, like heaven. I also love how the packaging is really minimal. That's so good. And then what else do we have? We have got Midnight Blooms. Do they smell good? Ruby's come to smell them. I feel like this one could go in any room of your house, which I love. This is Amber Clove and Patchouli. And it's like a really relaxing scent, which I guess is what downtime means. And then this is the one I was most excited because this one is gingerbread. And I love anything and everything gingerbread. Like at Christmas, gingerbread coffees are just my idea of heaven. And I can smell this from here. It smells so good. That is just Christmas in a candle. And they're 40 hours of burn time as well which is amazing. They are so gorgeous. They smell divine. Anyway, that has honestly made my evening. Can you think of anything better on a dark, rainy, gloomy evening having a candle delivery? So Annie, if you see this, thank you so, so much. And please thank your mum. She is an absolute sweetheart. I will put a link to all of these in the description as well. The third person has died as Storm Babette continues to fall heavy flooding. going to kind of show you the living room just yet because we've got the coffee table on order the rug on order and it's not looking quite right yet for your sake and for my peace of mind I really want to show it to you when it's done because I am having a few doubts about the sofa that we got I think it might be a little bit too big but you can't return sofas once you've opened them so I really need to make it work I'll show you the whole room once it's all come together which should be next week we've got blankets covering all of the sofas because getting brand new cream sofas in the middle of winter with these muddy little paws everywhere is a dangerous game. pajamas and sitting in the little reading corner in our bedroom can only mean one thing I'm about to start my new book isn't starting a new book just the best thing ever I really hope you've enjoyed just switching off and spending the day together today i am sending you so much love wherever you are in the world and let's all hope and pray for a better more peaceful week next week lots of love mm -hmm.